Most people come here uh, on the uh, the boat to uh, visit the Cutty Sark, but I've never been to Greenwich before, so I'm just going to have a wander around. I don't know what that is. This is an imposing building. No idea what it is. But what I'll do as a break, I'm going to go in to uh, see if there's a cup of tea available in here. It's well worth coming to Greenwich just to, to visit this museum. I found this is the Royal Naval College. It's no longer uh, opened in 1873. But it's, uh, of course, it's absolutely packed with kids, school parties. It's a, this is an excellent museum. Of course, wrecked by the school party, but uh, well, who am I to complain? Um, there's Henry VIII jousting at, jousting at uh, Greenwich uh, Palace. There's a model of a jousting tilt yard. There's the jump. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, very good. Okay, uh, Nelson, huh. the, the lion, symbol of, of uh, uh, well, a British symbol, and of course Nelson, the greatest of British naval heroes. He ended Napoleon's uh, 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 rule, brought the Napoleonic era to an end. Okay, I'm in the old brewery. I imagine that was the uh, the mess bar for the Royal Naval College. Back in this, pretty popular here. And that's uh, a bit pricey, but six pound eighty p for a scone and a cup of tea. Yeah, you could spend easily spend the whole day here in Greenwich. There's the old brewery there. Just had a cup of tea and a scone, rejuvenated the the old uh, well, the old arteries. Naval College back there. But look at the size of this building. This is the inner courtyard of that uh, very large building, uh, and it's now converted to a, a, a muse. Well, that's where the musicians have practiced their uh, their skills. This is the Thames. And uh, there's that big building there, but uh, with it now home to musicians apparently, students. And look at that there, look at that architectural. Uh, I think Sir Christopher Wren had something to do with all these buildings. He, he, I think he designed them. Uh, this is this is kind of uh, well, uh, yeah, just a few miles outside. Well, less five miles maybe outside central London, and. Uh, Fantastic place. Precise buildings, neoclassical. And uh, I'll just point out this this structure there. That was uh, one of Tony Blair's uh, the dome to celebrate the millennial. I can't pronounce that, but it never came to much. And now it's uh, I think it's a venue now for. Well, I don't quite know, don't know why, but it's still uh, in use. Okay, so I'm going to visit uh, those uh, architectural, uh, uh, the Royal Observatory and various other buildings. There's the Trafalgar Tavern. Tavern. This is the Thames, part of the Thames Path. Uh, continue down there to look at a couple of old buildings, but it's closed off. Residents only allowed. Uh, those are an interesting set of cottages right there. Some more up there. Welcome to the Royal Naval College, Greenwich. But I won't have ch time to visit those, the painted hall, the chapel. Uh, I've seen the visitor centre. But uh, vast complex. The vast, uh, vast complex of buildings here. Neoclassical. Must be a square mile of them. Uh, at least I know what that I want. I won't have time to go inside, of course. The National Maritime, the National Maritime Museum. 
So here uh, I enter the park, Greenwich Park. Okay, so this is Greenwich Park and like all London parks they, they seem to be very well uh, there. No problem. Massive sundial. This is a sundial and it's actually uh, it's actually showing an accurate, you can't quite see because it's just two o'clock, it's showing an accurate reading of the time. Uh, uh, right, this is some uphill work now to the Royal Observatory. It's uh, got a name plate on it there. Uh, Sir John uh, Van, Van Brew. Built that house, he called, he called, which he calls a castle, in 1719. But, but of course, you can hardly see it from here. In a quarter of a mile. And there's a nice tree there. <laughs> Been there for many, many years. So I'm on, I'm on the, I'm going for a leaflet, pointing out architectural. Uh, Walks with some other notable features of this park, like these ancient trees. They might have some history attached to them. If you could afford to live here, uh, near central London, uh, you who are more or less you know, two or five miles from the centre of London, uh, this would be ideal for your daily stroll, this park, Greenwich Park. This is a discovery. A Roman Cel Celtic temple in, in, in the middle of London and there's an art, artifact that was discovered and imported I went on during excavations and that mound there is all that's left of it but it has been excavated uh, several times and uh, pieces of mosaic and that have been discovered these uh, broad avenues there's a, there's a, okay well, uh, I'll go down here now and see if I can find the the, obs the Royal Observatory. There's probably a tree trail on this uh, in this park. I've got the architectural trail, but uh, that, well, that that one's died. But uh, yeah, look at the size of that tree there, horse chestnut. Been here for well, centuries, I think. Yeah, there's a bit of the London skyline. I think there's a better view a bit further up here. But vast uh, numbers of school kids here, though. But this is the perfect day to take them on a little outing. This uh, monument is a gift of the Canadian people, 1930. A view of the London skyline right there. Thank you very much for stopping. Okay, Wolf. The statue of Wolf. The Plains of Abraham. Of course, I'm coming right at the wrong time with vast numbers of school kids around. No, you could just climb up there. Yeah, no, but you can climb up. There's the uh, Royal oh, Naval like College down there, yeah. the River Thames. The Royal Observatory there. I think you paid to go inside. Statue of General Wolf. And there's the London skyline. Over there. Yeah, yeah fantastic. There's Tony Blair's dome, cost a billion pounds of taxpayers' money. The Royal, uh, uh, well, uh, the complex there, the Royal Naval College. This is a section of William Herschel's telescope, who discovered Uranus, if that's how you pronounce it, Uranus, in 1781. So I won't pay to go inside the Royal Observatory. It's packed with tourists anyway. 
I'll see what the price they are. I think they are. I think it's about £16 to go in. My apologies for blackguarding the tourists and school kids. Uh, but I'll go and have another cup of tea now. Because, I, as I say, uh, you could spend, uh, well, days here, really, to kind of... It's, it's, not, it's, a, it's a shame to hurry, uh, hurry these uh, visits. Uh, El Tazimoth Pavilion. Huh. Probably haven't pronounced it right. It's London's only pavilion inside there. And uh, what's that? Oh, astronomy centre. Oh, yeah, cup of tea downstairs. Yeah, I won't. Uh, I won't be going inside. I'll just have a look at the entrance. Ten quid to go inside, so you need a bit of money to come around these places. London's very expensive. Colleges. Uh, it's a very educational in here. Uh, you can learn a lot about astronomy just by spending several hours in this uh, in this building. Uh, it uh, it was free to come in. The ten pounds was for the planetarium. Yeah, so yeah. Everywhere you go. So, uh, yeah, that's everywhere. Yeah, it's excellent, of course. Excellent. Very informative. Now, I know 14 billion years is the age of the current age of the galaxy. So there's a yeah, educational. The oldest object you'll ever touch. Four and a half billion years old. So let's see. Might as well touch it. Yeah. Okay. Well. Cheers. Yeah, the planetarium. Now, where's the? Uh, yeah, down for a cup of tea. London's only planet planetarium. The Greenwich Observatory is famous for the Meridian Line. Uh, okay, and there's the entrance to the planetarium there. I won't go inside, I'll just take the entrance. Hello. Hi. Smile, you're on candid camera. <laughs> this is the entrance to the cafe. Uh, and uh, £2.60 for a cup of tea, which I suppose is about the going price. And there's a nice spot here. I'm trying to find... Uh, oh, that's the exit. I'm trying to find the Meridian line without having to pay to see it. OK, well, they don't want to make it easy for you to find the place where the Meridian line is without having to pay for it, but here's the Royal Observatory Garden. So if it's going to be anywhere, it's going to be in here. But there's, there's no sign of it. No. So I give up. Found it to the Greenwich. Well, that's that. It's kind of... Uh, oh, they haven't bothered to repairing that. But that's it, that rush trip there. I'm, 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 one, one, one foot is in the east and the other foot is in the west. So that was lucky. Someone stopped here just a moment ago. And uh, I wonder what they were stopping for, but that was the reason. Right there. Yeah, I'm leaving that uh, observatory complex, or former observatory, and uh, go down this very broad avenue and look... Uh, uh, well, for the ranger's house and one or two other things. Okay, I found the facilities. Uh, 20p, but uh, no problem. Continue on my walk through Greenwich Park. Royal Park, Rose Garden. Hey, fantastic, really. And uh, right in the middle of Wallace, uh, just kind of like in the middle of London. London Parks. Yeah, there's the ranger's house, and actually I'm a member of English Heritage, so uh, 
I could go in there free of charge, but I'm kind of running out of time. Okay, um, there it is. It looks like it's well worth visiting, and it's open. I don't think there's many visitors here. Uh, not look like as popular as the Royal. Well, I say, out of out of out of a hundred people visiting the Royal Observatory and the Greenwich Mean Line, uh, maybe one person will visit this if that. There it is there. Okay, so I'll uh, head, I think, for the next uh, point of interest, which is uh, McCartney House. Childhood home of the famous General Wolfe. It is the childhood home of uh, General Wolfe, who uh, perished from his wounds in the Battle of the Plains of Abraham, uh, Quebec. Uh, well, uh, yes, long time ago. That's it, McCartney House. Uh, let's see, where is it built? Yeah, well, it doesn't say in the leaflet, but uh, well, it looks like it's um, it's privately owned now, offices of some or some kind.